LaVisca Chenault is a talented young fourth-year wide receiver who is yet to even scratch the surface of his prime here in Carolina. But the question that has been surrounding him as of late is just what will be his role in this new-look offense that has a relatively crowded wide receiver room? Well, recently, head coach Frank Wright was quoted as saying that LaVisca could potentially play a Debo Samuel-type role in the 2023 seasons. And in this video, I'm going to give you all my thoughts on that potentially happening, whether I think that's a good or bad idea, and if there's another player that I think could, could potentially be a better comp for LaVisca Chenault's talents, and we're going to get into that right after this. From the foe, you did. Welcome to The Way I See It with Jamario Rashad. This is a Carolina Panthers fan channel. Please do me a favor by hitting the like button and please make sure you subscribe as I am on my road to 2K, trying to make sure my channel is popping before these games start next season. Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get to this recent report. If you have not heard or you are not in tune with the Carolina Panthers social media team, they did put out a interview or a press conference, whichever one you want to categorize it as, recently uh, involving head coach Frank Reich. And he was asked the question of just which role or where exactly does he envision LaVisca Chenault playing uh, in this offense moving into this season. Now, rather than give you all a summary of what he said, I'm going to give you all the opportunity to actually listen to, in to what Coach Frank Reich said, and I'm going to come back and react to it. So first, let's go ahead and listen to what, Co uh, to what Coach Reich had to say. On progress. Frank, well, this has been used in a lot of different ways throughout his career. What, how creative do you think you guys can be with him? Well, you know, it'll be interesting. You know, I think LaVisca has you know, been one of those guys out here that's looked good. Um, you know, we'll continue to investigate the different roles that he can play. Obviously, I, you know, I, even if we had this grandiose plan, which maybe we do, you know, but I wouldn't right, reveal that, you know, here or now, all the different ways you can use him. But, you know, you, you look at guys like Debo Samuel and stuff like that, and you say, well, can LaVisca do some of that stuff? Of course he can. Um, so, you know, we'll experiment with some of that stuff. Um, you know, we'll experiment with some of that stuff and see what, in, you know, some of it will get incorporated and some of it won't. So that is Frank Reich on LaVisca Chenault's potential role for this upcoming 2023 season. The name that he pointed out um, most specifically was Debo Samuel, he said, and others. But the name that he did hone in on was Debo Samuel. So before I give you all my thoughts on whether or not I think LaVisca can actually do it, let's take a look and actually find out who Debo Samuel is. Now, Debo Samuel is a six foot, 215 pound wide receiver slash hybrid running back from the University of South Carolina. He is a one time pro, uh, he's a one time all pro, and that was during the 2021 season when he was at the peak of his power. So, that is the season that we are going to focus on when I give you all his stats rundown. But before we get into that, my fellow Panthers fans, if you have to get any better idea of what Debo Samuel does or what Debo Samuel is, he is the embodiment of what the Carolina Panthers wanted for Curtis Samuel to be all those uh, all those years ago, four or five years ago when we had him. Debo Samuel does every single thing that we wanted Curtis Samuel to do, but he does it five times better. So that just gives you a, an idea of who exactly Debo Samuel is. So when we take a look at Debo Samuel, the first thing I want to talk about is his versatility. Well, as I mentioned, he is categorized or his position is usually mentioned as a wide receiver, but I see him as being a hybrid between a wide receiver and also a running back. Now, why do I say that? Let's take a look at his stats and let's look at the evidence of what I'm saying. Now, first of all, in 2021, Debo Samuel had 1,405 receiving yards, 365 rush yards. Now, you can see that although he did dominate through the air, he also was adequate when it came to running the ball. Where was that seen most evidently at? That is seen in the touchdowns where he only had six touchdowns through the air, but he had eight total rushing touchdowns. That's less than 400 total rushing yards, but being a dominant power running threat and being able to get the ball in the end zone is a talent that Debo Samuel most certainly possesses, and that is why he was able to have eight touchdowns during that year. Now, moving beyond that, he is also able to be a factor in moving the chains as you are moving 
moving the ball down the field and not only a weapon in the red zone. Where is that evident at? Well, that is evident in the fact that he had 51 first downs through the air and an additional 21 on the ground. That all culminating in 1,770 yards, 14 touchdowns, and 72 first downs. Now that, as I mentioned, was his all-pro year, and that is the introduction, if you did not know who Debo Samuel is and what Debo Samuel is all about, I hope that that gives you a better uh, understanding of it. Now moving on beyond that, how should we as fans look at LaVisca Chenault in comparison to him. Now, of course, anybody with eyes or anybody that pays attention to the league can just tell you that no, LaVisca Chenault is not in any way, shape, or form a better player than Debo Samuel. But what I got from what Coach Wright was trying to say was that we can use him in similar ways to how the uh, 49ers use Debo Samuel. Now, first, let's go ahead and look at these breakdowns. Now, we are not going to look at overall stats as they were drafted in different years. They played a different number of games. So their overall stats are not comparable. But what we can look at as an indication of their abilities are their uh, stats on a per-game basis and what they are able to do from play to play. Now, uh, Debo Samuel, the first thing that we are going to look at or the first ratio of numbers that I want you all to look at uh, when we are comparing these two guys are receiving yards to uh, yards after the catch. Now, uh, Debo Samuel has three uh, 3,230 total uh, career receiving yards. Now, in terms of yards after the catch, 2,132 of his total career receiving yards are yards after the catch. That being 66% of his yards were yards that he got after the ball was in his hands. When we look at that in comparison to LaVisca Chenault, who has 1,491 career receiving yards, 1,017 of those yards are yards after the catch, that being 68% of the yards. So these two guys both nearly have seven, uh, 70 percent of their plays going for extra yards and that being where they got majority of their receiving yards through the uh, through the year it was not being a burner and just getting the ball on uh, getting the ball on these uh, on the streaks on the posts on none of the deep routes it was the fact that when these guys get the ball in their hands they immediately go from pass catcher to playmaker and that is where I get and that is where I see the most glaring similarity between these two players is their ability to go from pass catcher to runner immediately upon catching the ball and in that and in that case I definitely do agree with Coach Reich that LaVisca Chenault could be used in a similar fashion to Debo Samuel when you look at their ability to run after the catch. Now, the next ratio that I want to inspect is the yards per target as opposed to the yards per catch. What that gives us an indication of is how, is the wiggle that they have, similar to what I was talking about with the yak yards, but this gives it to uh, this gives us a, uh, a deeper dive into what they're able to do on a play-by-play -play basis. Now, on average, Debo Samuel has averaged 9.5 yards per target, and what he has been able to do with those targets is turn that into 14 and a half yards per catch. So that means for every catch that he has, on average, he adds an additional five yards after that, which just shows his playmaking ability is just absolutely tremendous. Now, when we look at that same ratio yards per target as opposed to um, yards per catch for LaVisca Chenault, LaVisca Chenault averages about 8.5 yards per catch for his career. And what he is able to do, uh, yards per target, I, uh, I apologize, 8.5 yards per target for his career, but he averages 10.1 uh, yards per catch. Now, as you can see where Debo Samuel had a plus five in terms of his um, yards per target to yards per catch ratio, LaVisca Chenault is not as good with the ball uh, making plays after the initial catch, but if put in these, uh, if put in the, if put in the same situations as Debo Samuel and given and afforded the same opportunities as Debo Samuel, potentially this could have been, these numbers could have been higher, but as of now, it is not completely comparable. But as I mentioned before, we all know that Debo is better, but the point of the video and the point of what Coach Reich is saying is he has similar skills and similar traits to uh, us being able to use him as this. And this is yet another indication of that being the case. Now, the final ratio that I want to talk about in terms of these two players 
is uh, their rushing yards uh, to their yards after contact. I, of course, it says yak, but this yak is not yards after catch. It's yards after contact. When we look at Debo Samuel, he has 782 career rushing yards, 360 of those being yards after contact, being either uh, after a broken tackle or, you know, um, getting up the middle, making it through the line, or just whatever they consider contact, he doesn't go down after the first contact. Now, 46% of his overall rushing yards in his entire career are yards after contact, just showing that he goes, as I said, from pass catcher to runner almost instantly, and he possesses this and he possesses the same vision and physical traits as a bruising running back, and that it gives him is the ability to be such an effective hybrid player. Now let's look at LaVisca Chenault. In that, uh, in that same vein, now LaVisca Chenault has 197 total career rushing yards, 62 of those being yards after contact. He is not as dominant in this aspect of the run game as Debo Samuel, but as I mentioned, these stats are simply for me to show that he is comparable with the uh, with the targets and the runs that he, the overall touches that he has been afforded throughout his career. I will say that yes, I do believe that LaVisca Chenault is comparable to Debo Samuel and he could potentially play a lesser, more watered down role than what we see out of the all pro, multiple time pro bowler in Debo Samuel. But there is a player that is like inner division that I think is a better comp for LaVisca Chenault's skills and for the, uh, for the current setup of the roster of the depth chart for us to get the most out of LaVisca Chenault. I think the player that we should look to utilize him most similar to is Cordero Patterson, the hybrid wide receiver, running back, kick returner for, let's say, four, five, six different different teams over the course of his 10-year career. But you have to keep in mind, he's been in the league for 10 years and he always makes it on a roster because what he brings is so valuable. Now, who is Cordero Patterson? If you do not know, Cordero Patterson is a 10-year veteran in the NFL. He is 6'2", 220 pounds from the University of Tennessee. Now, what about Cordero Patterson is so special? Well, as of now, Cordero has nearly 13,000 total career yards, but what is so special about that is the ways that he was able to do that and the, the myriad of ways that he was able to do that because it was not just in one facet of the game. Nearly 3,000 receiving yards, uh, like 2,757 receiving yards, 2,330 rush yards, 7,836 return yards, as you can see, and multiple first downs in both facets of the game. Now, why exactly do I think that this is a better comp or it would be a better um, game plan for the uh, for the talents of a player like LaVisca Chenault? Well, I want you all to look at the stats that I have in yellow right there. Now, there is no particular year that you can look at Cordero Patterson's uh, stats in terms of rushing or receiving aside from maybe one or two that he could be dyna considered dynamic in any way shape or form but when you look at what he was able to do in the different ways that he actually touched the ball and the 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 different ways that he was actually able to make plays in nine of ten in nine of his 10 years in the league he has accounted for over 1,000 total all-purpose yards be it re rushing receiving and kick returning as I mentioned, his breakdowns on a per year basis by number of his career totals would be through 10 years, Cordero Patterson has averaged 43 targets, 46 rushes, and 27 returns on average for whatever team that he plays for, man. If we were able to do that for LaVisca Chenault, that gets him involved in the offensive side of the ball to the tune of over 100 touches. Why do I think that this is a better 
uh, comparison or a better game plan than Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel is the number one wide receiver over there. He gets a lot of targets, and that is why he is able to be as productive as he is. With the addition of Adam Thielen, DJ Chark, Terrence Marshall being expected to take a jump, and Jonathan Mingo being drafted this year, I don't exactly know where that leaves LaVisca Chenault in the pecking order of the wide receiver room, but I have been beating on the table, yelling, kicking, and screaming that he should be the one taking the kick returns ever since last year. I don't care if we take Shy Smith off the off the field, potentially just like for good, man. I think that should be a role that we have LaVisca playing. He should also be used as a, you know, as an H back, as a um as an alternate running back in power in power run situations. And I think he could be, as he is, over 220 pounds, a big body guy that can make a strong impact in the power run game. And if we were able to use him the same ways that Cordero Patterson has been used throughout his career, that would um that would make up or it would it would lessen the blow of him being lost in the shuffle of the overall wide receiver room man but that all or those are my thoughts on the uh potential idea of the visca chenault playing the debo samuel role within the carolina panthers offense for the 2023 season i in particular think that we need to look away from debo samuel because because of where Lavisca chenault falls in the pecking order and we should look more closely at cordero patterson and the versatile ways that teams have used him throughout the years but what do you all think about this particular subject do you think Lavisca chenault could do this do you think that he'll be good at it do you think that this is like just this is just frank just saying stuff whatever you all think about this particular comment. I would love to chop it up with you in the comment section. But until next time, man, I am Jamario Rashad. This is the way I see it. And I'm out. Peace.